Good morning out there in the DFS community. It's Vaughn, the Stat Man, coming into your YouTube airwaves, and welcome to the Stat Room. Woo! How is everybody doing this wonderful morning or evening, depending on when you watch this video out there, guys? All right, guys, so before I get into my picks and the wonderfulness that happened in DFS, let me get into my positive word. And my word for this fine morning is stack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, the stat man a few weeks ago was going through a little funk. And everybody on the planet has the good, the bad, and the ugly. Maybe four times out of the year, I'll go through a funk. And I decided that I'm going to get out of my funk by stacking positive days on top of positive days. So I am now like day seven and just stacking and stacking. And I'm my energy is just so alive, guys. I just feel revived. So guys, what you have to do is every couple weeks, you have to revise your plan of action. And whatever it is you're doing, if it's not working, adjust something. Like if you get up at noon every day, but you're not seeing any success happen, get up at 10 a.m. If 10 a.m. is not working, get up at six. If you're going about the motions and it's not working, maybe try reading. So what I did is I woke up this morning, guys. I got up at 6.30, went to the gym, met a, one of my friends in, in New York, had a meeting, a creative meeting, and it went absolutely phenomenal. I worked on my monologue. In my acting class, guys, I took best actor and best scene, voted on by the class. I got 17 to 17 votes. And this is now seven straight days stacked on top of each other, each other. So guys, just start setting goals each day and win those goals and write it down like what you did and did, did you maintain and did you do what you say you was going to do. And if you did, that's called stacking days. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it there with stack. All right, guys, so before I get into my picks, I am Von the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter at Von the Stat Man. And guys, check out the website, VonTheStatMan.com. All right, guys, so tonight, let me go through a recap of my top 20. I had Bumgarner, he um he lost, but he did decent. I have Flat Hardy, he's on pace to put 48 up. I had Bundy on pace for 51. Um Cisco, they're actually in overtime. So he has six points already, but he still has a chance to get more. I didn't catch what Posey did. Jay Martinez put up 31. Um Hansen, I don't think he scored. Kinsler just started, so no numbers on him yet. Longoria had 12. Um Munoz had 12. Crawford had 6.5. McCutcheon had 21. Trout already has a home run. Ben Intendi has 18. Um, they're still playing. Um, J.D. Martinez is still playing. Cruz and Hanger, Hanger, Hanger just started. Brantley had 18.7. So the, the, four, the, um, 20, the, the top 20 listed absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys. So let me now go right into my four horsemen. All right, guys, I'm, I'm giving you this four horsemen. I will run this four horsemen. I believe when these players do what I believe they're going to do, we could do absolutely phenomenal. And if they don't, it doesn't matter because they're so inexpensive. Guys, I am going to give you pitcher Wheeler from the New York Mets. He's a righty. He has a 457 ERA, he's only 7,200. He's going on the road to face Atlanta. And everybody's like, Statman, that's absolutely crazy to pick Wheeler. He actually pitches better on the road. And if you look at the Mets, they actually score more runs on the road than they do at home. And Atlanta has been hot or cold as of late. They have actually come back down to earth. Their best hitter right now is Freeman. So let's just say Freeman gets a home run, right? If nobody's on base, don't matter. I think Wheeler might give up two ERAs, maybe three ERAs, but that still don't hurt. If he gives us 18 points, we will take it. Next, I'm giving you his catcher, Mi Soraco. Mi Soraco, he has a um, batting average of a 213. He's 2,400, but he has home run hitting potential. And if you looked at his home runs, they were all on the road except for one. This guy can hit the ball. He's in a funk. Nobody is going to roster him. And he had a home run, we will be in the money. If he don't, it doesn't matter. He's 2,400. Would you rather have a guy at 2,400 to get you a three or a six or a guy at 4,500 to get you a three or a six? Think about it. Next, I'm giving you outfielder Conforto. Now, Conforto just heard the, the rumor yesterday that he might be sent down to the minors. Anybody out there ever play sports? This is just my gut play, guys. 
when I love guys when their back is against the wall who has talent. This guy's a lefty. He's going up against a righty. He has an ER. He, he has a um, batting average of a 215. He's only 2,700. That's low guy, guys. And, you know, when, when guys that can really play, backs against the wall, they perform. I wouldn't be shocked if this guy come out and put up 31 points. And if he don't, I don't care. But I'm cheering for this guy. That's my gut play tonight. You don't got to roster this lineup, but this is a ballsy lineup. So if you don't have a lot of cojones, don't roster these players. Next, I'm giving you out. And my boomstick play of the night is, yes, I'm going with a New York Mets stack. I'm going outfielder Nemo. He is a lefty. He has a batting average of a 271. He's 3,200. If you look at it, he hits a home run every two to three games. And on the road, he has been on fire. I'm going to stack this lineup. I'm thinking this lineup is going to get at least 60, between 60 and 80 points. I'm thinking that all of these guys are going to get home runs. And Will is going to get me about 20 points. And that works out to 80 points from four guys that are really cheap. What are your top batters going to do? All right, so I'm going to leave it there, guys. I am on to today. So, guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And, guys, don't forget to think and ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. And, guys, start stacking positive days on top of positive days if you want to change your life. I love each and every one of y'all watching this video. And if you got this far, enjoy your day. Love you.